accessories. On my last video of what I believe is the possible Aptera's all-wheel drive solution, Kevrol99 commented that I should do a deep dive into the motor. So in this video, I'm going to compare the new Vitesco EMR3 to the old Alafe hub motor design. Now, the EMR3 actually does have an official name. It is the Electronics Motor Reducer 3rd Generation. It has been said that this motor, this integrated drive unit that Fratesco makes, has been used in 20 different models of vehicles. In researching that, I found out that Dong Fang, an EV manufacturer in China, uses it, Hyundai in Beijing. But I don't know any of those vehicles, so I wanted to find one that some people might be familiar with. And what I came across is that this EMR3 drive unit is also used by Stellantis in the Peugeot E208 and the Opel Corsa E, two vehicles that share the same platform. Now, the EMR3 is a permanent magnet synchronous design motor. So what this means is that the EMR3 cannot freewheel if you have no power to it. So this completely eliminates the idea of shutting off the EMR3 in the Aptera and then using a rear hub motor to drive the car at highway speed for better efficiency. Now with the EMR3 and the Alafe hub motor design, in comparison, we can definitely see a weight difference and a complexity of design. Now in my research about the EMR3, I could not find an efficiency number for the motor but I was able to find an efficiency number for its replacement, the EMR4. It says that it was 5% more efficient than the EMR3 and 25% lighter. Now the one unique characteristic for the EMR series of motors made by Vitesco is that these motors can be configured for different applications. And I suspect that the efficiency of the motor is determined by the power output demanded by its application, which is why I have not been able to find a definitive percentage on its efficiency. Now, speaking about weight with the EMR3, the total weight of the drive unit is 167 pounds. To that, we would also have to add the average weight of a CV drive axle to transmit the power out to the front wheels. The average weight would be 15 pounds each, bringing this up to 197 pounds. Now with the Alafe all-wheel drive hub motors, they also contain the brake components inside the hub motor. So for the, for the Tesco system, we would also have to add the weight of the rotor discs and the calipers, which are kind of hard to estimate because Aptera could be sourcing those components from one of the vehicles that use the EMR3 as a drive unit, like the Peugeot E208, or they could be sourcing those components from Cherry who they have licensed two of their vehicle platforms for parts. Some of the parts that Aptera has licensed from Cherry are the air handler underneath the dashboard that um, controls your heating and air conditioning, and also the electronic powered steering column. Now let's speak a little bit about the Alafe all-wheel hub motors. In the original Aptera Alpha prototypes and in the beta track test mule, Aptera used the M700 Alafe motor. This motor can be distinguished by its bright neon green housing. But if you recall, at one point Aptera did develop a unique hub motor with Alafe specifically for the Aptera's weight and drive cycle. Now, when I was in San Diego for the unveiling of the Gamma prototype, I did see this motor but I do not and cannot find any specifications on it from Aptera or online. So for the rest of the video, I'm gonna to reference the M700 motor that Aptera used for their development. Let's speak about some specifications for the Alafe M700 hub motors. Each motor weighs a total of 50 pounds and produces 67 horsepower. So that would give us a total motor weight of 150 pounds. But with the Alafe hub motors, you would need a power inverter for each. That power inverter is remotely mounted inside the frame. The average weight of a power inverter would be about 22 pounds. That would bring us to a total weight for three hub motors and the three inverters to 216 pounds. Now you'd also have to take into consideration the cabling that would go from the power inverter to the hub motor. 
So we can assume, let's say, that the power inverter is three feet away from the hub motor. Average cabling used between a power inverter and a motor is four op cable. If it's three feet, we need three cables for each motor. That's nine feet of four op cabling for the whole system, which is a total of 17 pounds of cabling. That would give us a total of 233 pounds for the whole drive system. So now we can see that we have two different drive units with a different weight difference. In the one corner, we have the Vitesco EMR3 drive unit with axles coming in at 197 pounds. In the second corner, we have the Alafe all-wheel drive hub motor system weighing in at 233 pounds. Now, it might not seem significant that the weight between these two drive systems is only 36 pounds, but Aptera has said in the past that for every additional 30 pounds of weight added to the vehicle, you would see a reduction of 1% in its total range because it is so efficient and sensitive to weight. Now, in my last video, I made the assumption that I think I knew what Aptera's all-wheel drive solution was, that they are going to go to a mild all-wheel drive system with a rear-mounted induction motor. Now, for your launch edition vehicles, if you have a concern and still want all-wheel drive on your launch edition car, and you're lucky enough to be one of those accelerators, you can actually defer your order until the all-wheel drive solution is available. Now, if we take into consideration with the Lafay hub motors, the first 2,000 deliveries, the accelerator cars, would need 6,000 hub motors and an equal number of inverters. So for Aptera to make the change from the Lafay hub motor design, who they've been using or intended to use since they relaunched in 2019, until about a year ago when Sandy Monroe kind of let it slip on an interview with Peter Druger that Aptera was um, moving away from the hub motors because they couldn't get them is a large consideration. Now, if Aptera was put in a situation where Alafe wasn't able to provide the hub motors to meet Aptera's production timeline, that would have put them in a really bad spot. And you have to take into consideration to adopt the EMR3 drive unit into the Aptera. The tool and for the bodies was already finalized. The chassis was finished. Um, the chassis, the suspension, and other components needed to be changed to fit the Vitesco EMR3 motor into the chassis. This wasn't an um, easy decision for them to make, but I believe the right decision if Alafe couldn't deliver the motors to Aptera as they needed them. I still do think in the future Aptera will be using uh, Alafe hub motors for like a um, 2.0 or updated version because they've invested so much time and effort to develop this hub motor design with uh, Alafe, but for them to get a vehicle on the road that meets their efficiency is more important because they have to become cash flow positive. Um, tell me what you think about my comparison to the two motors, the systems, the drives. Comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Bravo.